My name is Lauren Stackhouse, and I was wondering if you ever wondered about the bones that were in your body. They're very important to our daily lives and help us perform our daily tasks, such as getting up or doing homework. They're very important to our body, and without the bones and the muscles that were in your body, you couldn't do your daily tasks. The first type of muscles that bones that we're going to talk about are your cranial bones. There are eight cranial bones, and they're very important to protecting your brain, which is the control center for your body, and tells your body what to do. Some of the bones are the occipital bone, which has the foramen magnum, which is where your neck connects to your head. You have two parietal bones that are in the back of your head. You have two temporal bones that are on either side of your head, and they're like right here, and it's normally where headaches come. And then you have the sethmoid bone, which is right here, and you have the ethmoid bone, which makes up part of your orbital complex, which is where your eye is. Our AMP book that we take here, the course that we take here at MEW, has a great definition and a great, great quote that talks about how important the cranium is. The bones of the skull protect the brain and guard the entrances to the digestive and respiratory system. I love this quote because it talks about how important the cranium is to our daily lives. The next type of bones that we're going to talk about are the facial bones. The facial bones are very important to helping you express your emotions and go about your daily lives. Our AMP lab manual has a great quote that describes how important the facial bones are. The facial bones form the base for the muscles of the face, which allow us to show our feelings for the world and chew our food. I thought this was a great quote because it describes how various the tasks are that the facial bones help us perform. One of the facial bones is the maxilla, and it is the top of the jaw, and it's very important to helping you chew your food. Right under the maxilla is the mandible, which is your jaw bone, and also helps you chew food. The palatine bones are actually inside your mouth, and you have two, so it's a, called a pair bone. If there's only one bone, that's called a single bone, and if there's two, then it's called a pair bone. The nasal bone is also paired, and it makes up your nose, and it's like right here. The inferior nasal concha is a paired bone that is located inside your nose, and the zygomatic bone is also paired, and it's located right here, and it's also called your cheek bone. The lacrimal bone is also a paired bone and is located inside your eye socket and helps make the orbital complex. The vomer bone is a single bone and is located inside your nose. And the mandible we already talked about is your jaw bone and is a single bone and is very important to your facial bones. The next type of bone that we're going to talk about are the bones that make up the thoracic cage. The thoracic cage is right here and it helps protect your vital organs such as your heart and your lungs. Most of the thoracic cage is made up of your ribs, and we have 12 pairs of ribs. Everyone has 12 pairs, nobody has any more, nobody has any less. There are many different types of ribs that are inside your thoracic cage. Ribs 1 through 8, 1 through 7, excuse me, are called true ribs because they are directly connected to your sternum. Your sternum is located right here and is very important to your thoracic cage. Pairs 8 through 12, are false ribs because they're not directly connected to your sternum. Pairs 11 and 12 are also called false floating ribs because they're not really connected to anything. They're just kind of hanging there. All the bones in the body are very important and there are very many random bones that I just think are cool. Like the humerus is the only bone in your upper arm. And there are two bones in your lower arm, the radius and the ulna. And I just like talking about the bones because it shows how diverse your body is and how all the bones are very important. In conclusion, all the bones that we talked about today are very important to your body and help you perform your daily tasks. And without the bones, who knows where we'd be. I think it's very cool to learn about the bones because then you actually know what your body is doing instead of just letting it do what it's supposed to do. And also it helps you in your daily career, such as if you want to go to nursing like I do. It helps you just know what you want to do, and it helps you in your future.